j'avoue que le jour me commence à être fatigué, mais on a vécu tellement d'émotions et c'est le tour. Donc euh, même si les jambes sont fatiguées, je suis chaud patate pour aujourd'hui encore. <rire> C'est vraiment le public qui me fait ouvrir les yeux tous les matins. Là, Je vous avoue que c'est un petit peu dur. Euh, mais voilà, on est sur le Tour de France, c'est normal. Ça roule toujours plus vite, tous les jours plus vite. C'est tous les jours plus nerveux. Aujourd'hui encore, ça va l'être. Ce qu'il faut, c'est durcir la course pour pas qu'on ait V-Bus dans le final. C'est pas une mince affaire. Elle est vraiment extrêmement forte, mais on va encore essayer aujourd'hui. Well, they can try, yeah. Of course, always nice to take a jersey home, and this will, this is a special one. We're getting closer, so I will try to get the points and try to get more close. We don't focus on uh, on, on other riders or on uh, Lorena. We just want to try our uh, try our best. I don't think it will be a calm day. Sandy de Vosges, the only Finnish and start town for this edition of the Tour de France. The last day before the two high mountain stages that will close this Grand Boucle. We're heading direction Basran and Rosheim, 129 kilometers away. Full queen of the mountains on the course and nine points to take in the race for the polka dot jersey. Lorena Wiebes with an intermediate sprint opportunity at Ermat at kilometer 85 and at the finish if she manages to hold on in this tricky course. She has one last chance to take the green jersey from Mariana Voss. As always since the beginning, the peloton starts the day at full speed. But a breakaway has opportunities to go all the way to the finish and 14 riders take their chance. Among them, the French champion Audrey Cordon Rigaud, Christine Majeris, and Tiffany Cromwell. The group has nearly two minutes of an advantage on the peloton, from which Marta Bastianelli tries to escape. Et ça relance avec le team UAE Bastianelli, l'ancienne qui... championne du monde. The attack doesn't work, and the former world champion is quickly caught again under the impulse of Falcard Travel and Service. The duel between the break and the peloton now begins, but we already begin to think about will the sprinters and their teams be in the mix. Good job, very good job. Uh, just make sure that you always work a little bit less than the rest in the breakaway. And for everybody, eat and drink, eat and drink, super important. It's going to be a hard stage. Jocelyn Loudon of Uno X is aiming for the mountain points. She takes the lead on the next two Queen of the Mountains. Three points to Joss Loudon. Looks like Marie Lanay is going to get the second place. Nobody contends with the British rider in the sprints, whereas behind her, Valkar have the help from UAE Team ADQ and they begin to reduce the gap slightly. And pay attention to the descent coming up, pay attention to the descent coming up. We have some turns on the descent, so stay in a safe position. The peloton accelerates in the route to Molkirk, at the top of which the bonifications are given. Grace Brown starts to ride, followed by the favourites, starting with Mariana Voss. Lorena Wiebes holds on, but a few moments later on the descent, the Dutch rider makes a mistake and is dropped. Lorena Wiebes is on the deck and this doesn't look too good. The Dutch rider with blood to the elbow starts again, but she's alone. She loses any chance of a victory in Rosheim and certainly says goodbye to the green jersey. Team DSM has several cards up their sleeve. Liana Lippitt can play for the victory, and so the teammates bring the gap down to only 40 seconds. Come on, Mike, come on, come on. The message is quickly followed by the French woman. Her attack allowed her to isolate herself on the last climb and go towards Rosheim alone. But behind her, Liana Lippitt starts the attacks amongst the favourites. The rhythm is high and the leading woman, Lene, only has a few seconds of an advantage before being swallowed up with less than five kilometres to go. 
Like the day before, Trek Segafredo leads the peloton into the finale. Ellen van Dijk and Elisa Longo Borghini want to drop the world champion Elisa Balsamo into perfect position. But Mariana Voss is too strong for the world champion. Mariana Voss kicks for home. Balsamo, the world champion, shoulder to shoulder, but the yellow jersey Ooh. is going to take it. Mariana Voss, two wins in the Tour de France Femme avec Swift. As for Weebis, the day before, Mariana Voss wins the double in front of Bastianelli and Capecchi, who fell a little earlier on in the stage. The Italian riders are once again in the top 10, with no less than seven representatives. In the general classification, there are no changes, except for the bonifications taken by Voss. The Dutch rider now has 30 seconds of an advantage on Persico and Nuvia Doma, which is a good omen for the yellow jersey rider, who will tackle the Markstein with a small advantage. Of course, it's nice to be in yellow and uh, the lead up to this uh to this final weekend uh, has been stages that suit me. We, we really wanted to do well in those stages and that worked out really well. And from tomorrow on, of course, different riders will be up front. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we can, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a different kind of race. Also in the green jersey, Mariana Voss does an excellent job. Lorena Wiebes is down and without a single point today. The Jumbo Visma rider has a 76 point lead. With only 90 points to go, barring abandoning the stage or an unlikely event, Voss will be in green this Sunday at the Super Planche de Belfi. The polka dot jersey still in place on the shoulders of Geritza. She's managed to take a point on the first climb of the day and has had another day with the jersey. But with 30 points to take tomorrow, the classification of the best climber will really start on the roads of the Hort Rhine. But well, there is a change in the best young rider ranking. Julia Borgstrom arrived in the same time as the winner of the day. She is now leading by 14 seconds ahead of Julia de Vilda. Finally, Marie Lenay, the last survivor of today's breakaway, was elected fighter of the day. She is the third French rider to receive this most combative rider award since the start. Tomorrow, the yellow jersey contenders will ride into the mountains, onto the roads of the Hort Rhine, and they'll find suitable terrain to really push Mariana Voss.